Greetings, one and all. I want to make an addendum to one of my videos on WordPress and connecting Bootstrap with your WordPress child theme. I have an active HTML5 reset child theme. And really, at this point, there's not much to look at. If you go to visit the site, you'll see everything's been sort of removed. And what I want to do is add Bootstrap. And in the previous one, I actually downloaded the files, and then we linked to it. And that's great if you want to learn how to link to files. But um, one of the things I, I realized is that we don't really have to do that. Instead, I like to do it where we use what's called CDN. So we're going to go to the Getting Started page just to see what I'm talking about. And you'll see all this. You can download it and get the source code. Or right here, Max CDN has, allows you to actually create a link and basically get all the files that you need. And all of this stuff basically has everything we need. It's the most up to date. And all we have to do is stick this in the head. And then, well, we can go ahead and just click the copy button instead. And then once we put that in the head, then we are going to, um, we're going to, uh, we're going to set up our uh, bootstrap so that it displays correctly. So we're going to just jump right into the child theming. So the first thing you want to do, because we're working on a child theme, is uh, we want to get the folder open that we were using. Uh, we want to get the file open that we were using. Hold on, let me just do it the other way. Um, so I have in my folder, in my themes, I've got the HTML5 reset. Oh, ah, wrong folder. That was the one, this is the one I'm looking for. So we have the HTML5 reset as the parent theme, HTML5 reset child as the child theme. What we need to do is we need to pull out the header. So we're gonna grab that file and we're just gonna copy it. And then we're gonna paste that into the um, HTML5 reset child. And the same, basically you wanna make sure you put it in the same structure that you had the other file. So at this point, it's all we really need. And let's go ahead and edit header. And now what we need to do is get those links. And um, I don't know if I saved any of the changes, but we're going to try. Um, so we've got all this head detail. We want to get just before we go to the body, we're just going to do this sort of last. Um, right before we're ready to jump into the body, right after head. Um, there's the WP head. I'm just going to drop it even after that. I'm just going to paste those files. And apparently it lost... Um, the stuff that I thought I had copied. Let's try it one more time. It says it's copied, paste it in, and then we'll just tab those over. And so we're just putting script tags. And sometimes it'll say to put something in the body. Um, I've found that a lot of times it just ends up putting in the head. You could put it in, I'm sorry, you could put it in the footer. Um, but let's just go ahead and test this out and see, first of all, if we're seeing any changes. We shouldn't see a lot, but we should see at least some style changes. And there we go. See how simple that was. Now we've got some styles in our page. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to set around everything. We want to create a fluid container. So let's go make sure we do that the right way. So we're going to go in here and let's go take a look at the simple, um, what they have as uh, the file structure for just getting started on an index page. And it's the basic template you see here. Notice Actually, they did put the bootstrap uh, down at the bottom. So let's move those files and we'll use the script tag, just this one latest compiled and, and minified JavaScript. So we're just going to cut that, save our changes, and now we're going to get the footer and we're going to move that into the child theme. So it's the same thing. We're, we're just kind of like picking and choosing or rating the parent theme. And, um, and so there it is, footer. So I just right click, I copy and then I bring it into the other file um, folder and just paste in here. And so at this point, headers at the top, footers at the bottom, obviously it's called the footer after all. And right before we close the body is where we're gonna drop that. Oh, it didn't save it. Probably because I did the copy and paste. So let's just go back here one more time and we'll just grab that. Um, yeah. I think that's all we need. Save our changes. Make sure it's working. Hit refresh. It's not broken. Last thing we want to do is we want to talk just about the grid. 
So we're just going to jump up and take a look at the grid. And we're just going to apply the basic bare bones, which I'm pretty sure is a div around everything that has a uh, fluid, uh, row fluid. So let's just double check and see what they have here. And great options, examples, blah, 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 blah. Fluid container, here we go. Uh, tch, 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 tch. Outermost container to container fluid. So as long as the outermost container, and it does not have to be a div tag. So if there's one already in the parent theme, we can use that instead. So we're going to go to header. And we're going to look at right after the body, we have a div with an ID of wrapper. And um, let's just go ahead and we can just give that a class of container fluid. Save our changes. Test it out. Because all I did was add a class and I didn't actually adjust, like I didn't create a new tag, I don't need to close that tag. So I'll know that it should be set up right. That should have everything that we need. I don't know if you noticed the change. There might not have been much, but look at how easy that was. Um, from here on out, then, it's just a matter of doing your child theming and getting the rest in place. Now, if you want to get some of the other files that are for boot, Bootstrap, and I should at least give you that um, since we did that pretty fast, I just want to go back a link and talk about um, what, one of the things we may want to do is grab the icons that they have available and it is handy to have. And um, this one, I don't think they have the icons on the CDN. Nope, they don't. So now we're gonna go to the install file and look for that. And then let me just show you kind of what's going on. So we, we're just gonna grab everything from the fonts folder and we're just gonna to link to, um, I don't know if we need to link to anything on there. Let me just double check on that. We're going to just go ahead and try to grab the Glyphicons, and we'll just go from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just download the whole thing, and we're just going to grab the fonts and make sure we have those links. Now, as long as the style sheets are giving relative links to it, we don't even have to change anything. We don't have to do anything fancy, no special formulas or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and just download Bootstrap, and then we'll get that file. We'll extract it, and we'll grab it and put it where it needs to go. We'll try clicking it again. And now we'll click download. Sometimes it takes a few steps, but we'll get there. All right, there it is. Let's just go ahead and extract it. And then we'll just get all the files that we need. And then we'll test it out just to make sure it works. So it's in the fonts folder. I'm just going to copy that whole folder, follow the structure in the other file, and just drop it right in here. Bam. So we got the fonts in there. Let's test it out on header just to see what we can do. I'm going to go back to the top. I'm going to go to CSS. We'll look at Glyphicons, which I think might be under Components. Yep. And let's just grab a sample one from below. We just need to test it. Pretty sure we need the fonts to get these Glyphicons on here. I want the button with the star in it. Okay, so we just grab that. We go over here. We're in the head. And I'm just going to paste it right in there. Let's save my changes. And I'm going to go test it out. This would appear on every page. You don't want to do this normally, but we got to test it. There we go. Glyphicons work. That's all we had to do. No special code, no special functions. You just need to get the files that you need. And it's basically just grabbing those links they have on the main page and then grabbing the fonts. And then you're ready to bootstrap the CRUD out of that website. And so um, 
that's it for my little addendum there. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this has made your life much simpler.